Welcome to your daily devotional for the month of October entitled A Reverent Life from the book My Life Today. October 27th Angels join me in soul winning. Angel guidance in my life. Are they not our ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Hebrews 1 verse 14 The glad message of Hebrews 1 verse 14 is for all. The entire chapter is a wonderful encouragement for every tried and tempted soul. But to which of the angels said he at any time, Sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool? Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? These messages are coming down along the line to our time to them that shall be heirs of salvation. Angels actually come to our world, nor are they always invisible. They sometimes veil their angelic appearance and appearing as men, they converse with and enlighten human beings. While some are in the valley of decision, angels are uniting with true, wholehearted servants of Christ to help these needy souls. If angels occupied the place of men in the administration of the gospel, there would not be whole regions left in darkness in the shadow of death the work would have been as is represented by the angel flying through the midst of heaven, proclaiming the everlasting gospel to them that dwell on the earth. But the Lord does nothing without the cooperation of men. Could the intense interest which the angels have for men be put into voice that would be heard by the human agent What appears will be heard in burning words to communicate to others that which heaven had communicated to them. God has manifested his love to men by making them partakers with himself in the work of salvation. All to whom the heavenly inspiration has come are put in trust with the gospel. We are laborers together with God called to represent him as ambassadors of love. We are to cooperate with the work of the delegates of heaven. Through the ministration of angels, God sends light to his people, and through his people, the light is to be given to the world. A Reverend Life, October 27th